Hey everyone, in this video I just want to talk about how to reset your Synology NAS should you get locked out of your administrator account. In the last couple of weeks I've been seeing this request come up on different forums and different Synology user groups that I belong to and I thought it would be a good idea to maybe do a quick video and show you the process of how to reset the NAS without losing any of your data. So I do want to refer to a knowledge base article by Synology. So let's cut over to that now. And you can see it says, how do I sign in if I forget the password for my administrator account? And it walks you through a couple of simple steps, and I'm going to take you through those now. So first one it says is locate the reset button on the Synology NAS. To find the location of the reset button, refer to your device's hardware installation guide. For most cases, it's usually on the back of the desktop models. In fact, mine is on the back, and I'll show you that in a minute right next to the Ethernet port. Use a paper clip to gently press and hold the reset button until you hear a beep and then release it immediately. So I have my, I don't have a paper clip, but I have my handy dandy safety pin here. So we'll use that. Once you do that, the device and password are now reset. I do want to point out a couple of things in this article right here. So let's click on this. And here are some of the things that take place once the device has been reset. It says the admin count is restored to default and its two-factor authentication is setting is disabled. The management port is set back to 5000 and 5001. So if you have changed this, uh, it will go back to the default ports. For DSM 7.2 and above, the IP4 address, DNS, gateway, and other network interfaces are reset to DHCP. So these are all things to keep in mind if you have to actually do this process. PPPoE is disabled, auto block is disabled, firewall rules are disabled, high availability cluster is removed, and virtual machine manager cluster is removed. Encrypted folders are unmounted, and the feature mount automatically on startup is disabled. So again, I'll put a link to this article down in the video description. Just refer to this article before proceeding with the process. But again, if you have no other choice and you're locked out, this will get you back in. So once you've done the reset with the paper cut or the safety pin, then enter find.synology.com in the address bar of your browser. Once you find your device, double click on it. You'll enter the system's default username of admin and you'll leave the password blank and then you'll be able to sign in. And then once you sign in, technically you should be able to go in and reset whatever parameters, but your data should still be intact. So we're going to do that now on a DS920 Plus that I have running here. I haven't had to actually do this process yet, but it's good to know and it's good to know for others because it seems to be a common topic uh, the last couple of weeks on the forums and the user groups. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get this 920 reset. So on the back of my unit, right on the side of the Ethernet cable, I know you probably can't see that, but that's the reset hole I'm going to take my safety pin and we're going to go ahead and press and wait for the beep and then immediately release. So let's go ahead and do that now. Immediately release. The device should be reset or resetting. Next step is we're going to go to find dot synology.com and see if we could locate the device. Okay, so it found my DS216 plus two. That's not the device we want. I have other devices on my network. Okay, the DS920 is 192.168.25.254, so we're going to click Connect. Okay, so it did bring us to the DS920 sign-in page. The Knowledge Base article did say to use admin as the username, but I also want to point out that the port was set back to the default of 5000, so it appears that the reset did work. We are to leave the password blank. And here you can see we did get signed into the device.
I'll enable the two-factor authentication later. The whole point in this video was just to show you that if you get locked out of your admin account, you can gain access to your device without losing everything. So we'll say no thanks now, and we'll skip this for now. And now here you go. Reset the account password, and we should be good to go. So, and submit. Your password has been changed. Sign in now. So now we'll go back to the original admin account. And we are signed in just like we were before. My data should be here. I didn't have much data on here, but we go to here. I know in this folder here, I had some photos and there they are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I was able to regain access to my administrator account. Let me know if this tip is helpful for you. Have you ever been locked out of your Synology NAS and found yourself in this predicament? Let me know down in the comments below. For more content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.